we need to be educating all people in STEM. So to get students in, from an HBCU to get more involved in the field like geospatial science, it means that we're not only introducing them to this field, but we're supporting the national security of the country as well. Geospatial is important to the future of St. Louis, but also to the future of America. There's been a significant investment in the Department of Defense in geospatial and mapping to ensure that we have the latest information as relates to protecting our country. Leveraging geospatial technology to help them make their communities smarter, safer, more livable, more economically vibrant and diverse. We want to expose these young professionals to geospatial. We want to develop a pipeline of diversified talent who is going to support the next generation of geospatial thinking. I think with learning all of this, it'll better help. What my goal is, is like to help with the environment. I'm able to make a change because I care about stuff like climate change and all of that kind of things. I can take this knowledge and show people that you can use this in everyday life, no matter where you go, or what you do. You can always find a way to use the technology. Our geospatial science and technology initiative have been designed through a vision to grow Harris Stowe State University to be the number one HBCU in the nation for thought leadership in GON. With this program, I think it's gonna help me have more of a skill set to actually help improve the world. We hope that the students that leave this program leave with an exposure and a greatened awareness of applying that geographic approach and really actually enjoy solving problems in geospatial thinking. This is my first time introduced to these things. I like it, I feel like it's difficult. I like difficult things. I like something that challenges my mind or challenges my brain, make me think. St. Louis has been recognized as a hub for geospatial and Harris Stowe is the first one that I know of that really took the reins and said, we're gonna build an immersion program to get this exposed out to the, to the masses. And they use it all together to make the world a better place. They solving problems that we don't talk about on a daily basis, like where we can plant our food, where we can get fresh food from, where can we build houses, places for the kids, safe haven. The thing I, I'm excited about for Harrisburg State University students is that this is a cutting edge STEM field and they can learn and be the leaders of this field in the exciting future. Harris Stowe is the best networking opportunity I ever had provided for me. And this is just another example of that. Caring about us enough to place us in a room with people who can, you know, benefit us in the long run. It just shows how much they care about us and want us to succeed after college. One of the things that we wanted to do with this program was just to make sure that Harris Stowe students really understood the basics of aviation and aerospace and drone operations. I think they have incredible passion, excitement, and they pick up really fast. And I hope we get at least two to join us as drone pilots. There's so many different opportunities to plug in and use this technology to truly make the world better. I think it's important to see that in action, to be able to come into this space and these kind of programs and understand what we really do and do that hands-on aspect, I think is really meaningful for them. It's changed my way of thinking because it gave me a broader perception of what is done here. Our generation is kind of the next leaders. So exposing us to things like this really opens our eyes to like different opportunities that's out there. And I definitely think this can help the world. We need talented people like each of you on our team, in the IC, and at NGA. And we need you to be able to tackle our nation's hardest problems. We need a continuous, enthusiastic, diverse infusion of talent into our workforce. We need Intel professionals with diverse perspectives who come from different cultural backgrounds and work experiences to understand a changing world. HBCUs are a collection of some of the finest universities in our country with students that are not only ready to be a part of what we're trying to build here around this technology, but also have extremely relevant, important perspectives to contribute to that. Harris Stowe is unlike those others. Being able to bring in, through that HBCU network, other young, educated Black professionals that can get exposure, not only to the geospatial industry, but also to St. Louis, and ultimately 
call St. Louis a place where they can grow and build for the future. I think this was an opportunity for the students to not only grow um, educationally, it was an opportunity for them to grow holistically as well. I feel that this program is life-changing for the scholars that participated in it.